Hey guys, welcome back to Jackal Educational Channel. This is the time to reveal the results for the quiz contest which was conducted on 21st of June 2021. Yes, this environmental science quiz is conducted every week on Monday to prepare ourselves for the entrance examinations related to environmental science and to know something about our environment. So those who don't know how to participate in this quiz, you can pause this video and go through all these rules. So before revealing and announcing the results, let's discuss the questions first. So the first question was tsunamis are what? And here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, tsunamis are the sea waves which are generated mostly by the action of earthquakes. So we'll know more about tsunamis because it has been asked in the environmental science entrance examinations. Most often the questions are the meaning of the word tsunami. So it is a Japanese word meaning the harbor wave. So harbor wave, how it comes? Su that is TSU means harbor and nami means in Japanese that is wave. So that is altogether a Japanese word naming as harbor wave. So a tsunami is an ocean wave triggered by large earthquakes that occur near or under the ocean, volcanic eruptions, submarine landslides. So these are all the factors which can trigger the tsunami or by onshore landslides in which large volumes of debris fall into the water. So when the onshore landslide happens, then it releases debris on the water, which in turn, as you can see in this picture, it takes the movement of the ocean which is called as the tsunami. Here in the example you can see here this place is showing that earthquakes is taking place as a result of the waves it is the ocean is triggered and it results in the tsunami. So let's move to the next question. Next question is one of the frequently asked questions in the environmental science entrances. The question was the correct sequence of the decreasing order of abundance of the given elements in the earth crust. So here the correct option will be option number D. Yes, oxygen followed by silicon, aluminum and iron is the correct decreasing order sequence of the earth's crust. So we will know more about it in the next slide. So here in this picture you should note down what is the composition of earth crust. So mostly the oxygen is having the maximum part that is 46.6 percentage followed by the silicon with 27.7 percentage. Then aluminum is having the share in the earth crust of 8.1 percentage and then it is followed by iron with 5 percentage and then followed by calcium, sodium, potassium and magnesium. So this table, this pie chart is very important. Kindly note down. Let's move to the next question. The next question was which one of the following is true of the braided stream? And the options are on your screen. I will wait for certain seconds then I will reveal the answer. So here the correct statement about the braided stream is option number C. Yes, the width of the braided stream channel is greater than its depth. So as you can see in this picture, the width is very much, but the depth is very less. So it is not much deeper like ocean, but the width is varying and it is having the more width and it is having many dendrites like structure, which we know in the neurons, many branches. So it is the characteristics of braided stream. Let's move to the fourth question. The fourth question was interior of the earth is inferred through which of the following techniques. So it is asking how the interior of the earth is recognized or studied and the options are on your screen. So here the correct option will be the earth's interior is inferred or studied using the seismic sounding. So what are these? I will show you in the help of this picture. As you can see one energy source is given on the ground which is giving the energy. So the energy is transmitted and that energy is reflected back from the reflecting surface that is which rock we are studying. Here it is the bedrock characteristics. So energy source can be the explosion and can be the seismic wave which are provided intentionally to know the characteristics and the feature of the rocks present inside the earth and they are detected from the reflection of those energy source with the help of detectors. Let's move to the next question. The next question was an assertion and reasoning kind of question in which the assertion statement stated that arsenic 3 is more toxic than arsenic 5 and the reason stated arsenic 5 binds the sulfidyl group more strongly than arsenic 3. So here the correct option will be option number D that is only the reason statement is wrong. Yes, because arsenic 3 
is more toxic than arsenic 5 is absolutely correct but arsenic 5 does not bind with the sulfidyl group more strongly because arsenic 3 is having the more binding strength with the sulfidyl group than the arsenic 5 let's move to the next question the next question was from the photochemical smog and the question was which of the following is an essential component of the photochemical smog and all of you have given the answers correctly that is option number a that is pan is the essential component of the photochemical smog and it is one of the important questions you can get the link in the i button as well as in the description to know about different types of smog its reaction and it will be very helpful in the examination let's move to the seventh question the seventh question was phone that is phon is the unit of work and here the phone is the unit of measuring the loudness level so it is a logarithmic unit of measuring the loudness level for tones and complex sounds let's move to the eighth question the eighth question was which of the following is directly associated with the acid rain so acid rain also you can know by clicking on this i button and here the correct option will be option number b oxides of nitrogen that is nitrogen dioxide is mostly associated with the acid rain along with sulfur dioxide so let's move to the ninth question the ninth question was bhadra wildlife sanctuary is situated in which of the following states and here the correct option will be it is situated in the karnataka state that is bhadra wildlife sanctuary let's move to the final question the tenth question was which of the following is used as a carrier for the rhizobium fertilization that is biofertilizer and all of you have given the wrong answer and here the correct answer will be cow dung yes cow dung is used as an efficient carrier for the rhizobium biofertilization and here charcoal is also used but it is not that much efficient because it is costly so it is cost effective is cow dung which is used as a carrier for the rhizobium biofertilization so now it's time to announce the results so Soha Wani is the top performer of this week's quiz contest. Congratulations to Soha and other participants who have also done well are Deepsika Gupta, Alka Jain, Tashkeen Khan, Salini Satya, Akshay Bharadwaj, Dipali, Shivani Jain, Diksha Pandey, Vishwas Gowda, Rahul Kumar, Geeta Sharma and Rakhi Tagi. So well done everyone and keep up the good work. So you can also join our telegram channel for the daily quiz and prepare yourselves in a best way. So see you guys in our next video. Till then keep smiling.